Thallium is an element which was discovered by William Crookes of the Royal College of Science in London in 1861. But Claude Auguste Lamy of Lille in 1862 was awarded a medal to develop an ingot of this metal. Crookes was angry, so he was awarded a medal as well by the French Academy. Thallium has two isotopes. One is the 8105 and the other one is 8103. Relative atomic mass of thallium is 204.38 grams per mole. Thallium has use in electrical industry in photoelectric cells. Its oxide is used to produce special glass with a high index of reflection and also low melting glass that becomes fluid at about 125 K. An alloy of mercury containing 8% thallium has a melting point 20 degrees Celsius lower than the mercury alone. This can be used in low temperature thermometers and in the switches as well. If we have a look at the physical properties, this element melts at 304 degrees C and its boiling point is 1457 degrees Celsius. It is relatively, relatively high, heavier than water and it is insoluble in water. This data shows that this element exists as solid at room temperature and pressure. Its TLB value if according to ACGIH 1994 data is 0 0.1 milligram per cubic meter. OSHA permissible exposure limit is 0 0.1 milligram per cubic meter for skin. And IOSH recommended exposure limit is 0 0.1 milligram per cubic meter for skin. And NIOSH IDLH that is immediately dangerous to life and health concentration is 15 milligram per cubic meter. For a detail on TLV, TEL, REL, and IDLH, kindly refer to my first lecture in series of this lecture. In UN hazard classification system, it is this chemical compound, this element has been given a symbol of poison, and it is dangerous for the aquatic life as well. Thallium is one of the most toxic of the heavy metals. It affects the nervous system, gastrointestinal tract and causes the hair loss. Thallium exposure causes cardiac, dermatological, hematological, and ocular symptoms. In mammal, thallium is more toxic than mercury, lead, zinc, and copper. Lethal dose of thallium acetate is 12 milligram per kg of body weight. Symptoms of thallium poisoning are non-specific due to multi organ failure. If we have a look at, on its chronic toxicity, in a study of 15 workers who had handled inorganic organic thallium over a period of 7.5 years, five of them suffered of its toxicity. This ratio is very much high. Chief complaints were abdominal pain, fatigue, weight loss, pain in the legs, and nervous irritability. Three of the workers had albuminuria and one had hematuria as well. Albuminuria is a sign of kidney disease and means that you have too much albumin in your urine. Whereas hematuria is the presence of blood in a person's urine. There are two types. One is in which you can physically see the blood in your uh, uh, urine, which is known as grass hematuria, and the other one is the microscopic, when a person cannot see the blood in his or her urine, that it is seen under a microscope. Thallium is dangerous for the pregnant and fetus. Cytogenic evaluation of 13 
thallium poisoned people revealed increased chromosomal aberration and increase in single strand prey. So very much toxic. Let's now discuss one case of death with thallium in which a 36 year old man ingested an unknown amount of thallium sulfate from an old rodenticide bottle. He reached emergency department 45 minutes later with abdominal pain and vomiting. His blood pressure was 6041 and heart rate was 146 beats per minute. He received multi-dose activated charcoal in emergency. Prussian blue was administered 18 hours post arrival. He developed renal failure and hypotension, that is low blood pressure. He died on third day of admission due to high levels of thallium in blood and urine. Recommendations are, number one, specific medical tests published in the literature for implies working with thallium and its compound include body hair, whole body chemical metabolites, biological tissue biopsy, nerve conduction studies, urine chemical metabolites, and urinalysis. Inhalation, ingestion, and contact with thallium and its compounds should be avoided. Material safety data sheet of each chemical in use should be available at workplace and employees should be educated about it. Stay safe from the chemicals. Use the chemical safely. Stay tuned for my next lectures on safety with chemicals. Till then, God bless you.